Now to understand the crisis in Thailand better, we're now being joined by Titipul Pagdiwani, a political scientist at, at the Thailand University. Thank you, sir, so much for joining us on the show this morning. Now, my first question to you is, Peter, as I mentioned, has been banned and now there will be another vote next week. How do you assess the situation in Thailand at the moment? Yeah, currently the Pita has been his uh, his job has been suspended by the constitutional court, and to some extent, it shows how insecure the um, conservative establishment in Thailand are. They have been trying everything to stop or uh, and to to prevent Pita from being a prime minister, and from and they try to prevent the move forward party to take power to to govern the country that that is very clear because they are um partly actually if you look at what happened in the very first world they tried to use the uh, the proposal to reform article 112 as you mentioned as a pretext to to undermine the legitimacy of PETA, and which is actually, if you look at the MOU that was signed by the eight coalition parties, the reform of Article 112 was not in that MOU. It's, it's part of the party's agenda to, to propose to the House. So it was not the only main thing that the party would want to do, but the party, PETA really what the party was very famous during this election, partly because of the the policy, the fracture policy to end military cons conscription and to restructure the real allocation of public resources and also to liberalize liquor market. That is one of the most powerful business in Thailand. And to some extent, it's now it's largely clear that it's, it's, it has more to do with the restructuring of the power and under and you know, changing the structure of business in Thailand. And so when we look at the future, now it seems like they are, we have so seen the attempt to... From what you just said regarding yeah. restructuring uh, of the political structure over there. Now, the unselected 250 member Senate, which was appointed by the military after the coup in Thailand, uh, does it still hold the reins to the Thai politics and leadership, given what we've just seen? That, that, that is one of the main problems, but they only have this power until 11 of May next year that that will end. So after the uh, May next year, then um, we will go back to the normal democratic system that you have in most uh, in most country. You know, if the party win most most seat, then they can just take power in the house. And so that is the thing. So when we look at the future from now on with the vote next week, um, it's rather clear that the conservative establishment is more kind of supportive towards the the poor Thai and with the condition to exclude move forward party. And so that they are trying to push move forward to the opposition side and then form the new coalition party without move forward. That is one of the very main speculation at the moment. And because it's, it's rather clear that um, the article, the constitution that gave power to the senator was intended to ensure that the coup maker can remain in power at least eight years after the, right. the constitution was implemented. Right. Now, Mr. Pagdivanish, also I want to understand the move forward party, as I mentioned earlier as well, it's majorly followed by youngsters who were in favor of a new regime, of course. With the court's decision on PETA, what kind of a backlash should one expect now? We, I think we, we would see a big protest in the country, but then I don't think we would see the scale that we have seen, we have seen in 2013 and 2014. I don't think that would be the case so easily because the conservatives still have quite a strong control, but then we cannot actually take anything for granted with the future. Um, but it's also not in the interest of the move forward party as well. If there, there is a kind of, um, ongoing protest. And to some extent, it is very likely that if Move Forward cannot take power, and if there is election, because some people are calling for a snap election and this kind of thing, if there is a, an election soon in the next few months or year, or even if this government stay in full, uh, for full, full, full years terms, then in the next election, it is very likely that Move Forward would win big and that they would be able to take power. Right. 
thank you for joining in on the broadcast, Mr. Titi Bol Pakhtiwanich, and uh, thank you for sharing all your insights with us. Yep, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you.